What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we are going to be opening up the new Solid Edge Works figures, Vegeta and Super Saiyan Vegeta. But like always guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like this video if you enjoy it at the end of the video, and of course comment your thoughts down below in the comment section once the review is over so we can have a discussion. So I'm back guys, I, I know it's been a while, uh, I mentioned that uh, I uh, have been having uh, you know just some uh, personal issues and I've been working on that, been doing a lot of uh, uh, mental health uh, exercises and, and steps in order to help myself. And I just needed to kind of take a break and a step back from the channel in order to focus on that. So um, I appreciate your patience, guys. I am doing much better um, and, you know, just taking each day one step at a time. So um, if you guys, on a personal note, uh, ever uh, struggle with any type of mental uh, struggles or illnesses, of course, seek help. Try and get a therapist if you can. Um, you know, insert some... some uh, some, some podcasts or something that, that can really help you or, or get medicated if, if that's also that severe. But anyways, you know, I don't want to start this out on a downer. Um, as you can see, I kind of changed uh, the layout a little bit for this. I, uh, I wanted to try something different for once on the channel um, and I wanted to open these up um, in a different format. So I've got these two figures right here. Um, and I'm so excited uh, to open them up. So um, let me know in the comment section down below um, if you prefer this format, uh, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what you would change, what you preferred about how I did my videos before. Um, and, and I might try this for this review and maybe another one and then we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this, um, I, I think. <laughs> see, Solid Edge works. They, um, they've been kind of mixed so far. You know, I feel like Goku and Trunks so far um, have had good things about them, but at the same time have had a lot of quality issues, um, mostly quali quality control issues. So I'm hoping this one does not fall into the same category. Obviously, Vegeta is my favorite character in Dragon Ball, so I am hoping that you know this one kind of falls into the former. So uh, without further ado, we'll dive into the figure. We'll open it up uh, while. Uh, um, well, you know, giving some thoughts on it, um, then we'll give some background on the figure, and then um, after some comparisons, we'll do uh, a rating at the end out of seven Dragon Balls. Let's go. We're back with another Solid Edge Works figure, and this time it's the Prince of All Saiyans, Vegeta. I've been fairly mixed so far with this series. The Goku was pretty lackluster, and even the Trunks was okay at best. Will this Vegeta spell a good future for this line of figures, or am I better off leaving it behind? Let's find out. This figure is based on Vegeta in his base and Super Saiyan forms from the Android Saga. His pose and likeness seem based on his fight with Android 19 as he walks out from a crater he created from his explosive transformation. Solid Edge Works is a new line of figures from Bandai with the intention on showing dynamically posed figures that should be taller than the average figure with a hard edge composition and faithful recreation of the anime. So far, Goku and Trunks have been released. This figure was released in Japan on April 19th, 2022, and will release overseas sometime during summer 2022. The only variations of this figure are these two, the base form and the Super Saiyan form. I bought these for about $30 each, and you can find the overseas versions for just about the same on most websites. Link in the description of purchase. These figures are made of PVC and ABS. They both stand at about 8 inches. 
a great size for a figure. This figure comes in three pieces, his upper body, legs which are the same between both figures, and a support for his foot. He absolutely needs this support to stand. So out of the box, I didn't think he was too bad, but as I recorded more b-roll and as time goes on, I noticed the glaring imperfections of this figure. His likeness is okay. I don't think Vegeta's face looks bad at all as they managed to get all of the details correct, but his forehead is way too big. By the time Vegeta was in the Android Saga, they really de-emphasized the size of his head. They also made this figure's hair way too big, which is more reminiscent of his Saiyan Saga version, which again, they de-emphasized as the series went on. They also made his Super Saiyan form's eyebrows look way too faded, so he looks like he has no eyebrows. Paint and shading aren't bad. He's got some subtle shading on his jumpsuit, good shading around the skin of his face, and his Super Saiyan hair looks really dynamic. However, there's no shading on the back, and the issue with his Super Saiyan eyebrows is very disappointing. Size and scaling are pretty good too. Bandai intended this figure to come out larger than the average crane figure, so it is nice to see these fall into that bucket accordingly. He is too small compared to Goku from the exact same series though, so it's a little inconsistent. They should have shaved an inch on Vegeta or made Goku an inch taller. The sculpt is probably my least favorite aspect of the figure. His issue with his forehead is emphasized further by the fact that you can see the glaring separating molds for his hair, and his hair overall was crafted pretty poorly and not accurate to Vegeta's. It's too big and wide, and spikes way too far out. And by god, my Super Saiyan figure form leans way too far. He looks like he's falling over for goodness sake. After putting them on my shelf to display, they both started to lean too far and I have to use other figures to keep them up. Not great quality on that support and weight on the figure. Overall, this figure's not worth buying. I have one more Solid Edge Works review to do, but unless that figure is on the level of Master Lee's figures, I don't think I'll be supporting the series anymore. Vegeta, much like the Goku figure in this series in the past, has likeness issues and a very poorly molded body overall. You're better off just saving for a Kuji figure instead. I'm giving this one 3 out of 7 Dragon Balls. Hey guys, thanks again for watching and I appreciate your patience with me. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but like I said, just had to really regather myself and focus on my mental health and put in some routines moving forward that'll help me keep that mental health in check. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, make sure you guys are doing the same. Take care of yourselves and your mental health. Try not to stretch yourself too far and put in a good routine for yourself so that you have time to focus on that. But, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you enjoyed it. Comment your thoughts on this figure down below in the comment section. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next review for the Solid Edge Works Vegito figures. Until next time, guys. Later. Later.